to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. And we have to work with time. Acts chapter 20. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. And now, brethren, it says, King James, please, I commend you to God. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able, the word of God, has the ability to number one build you up it's a language of edification and then number two to deliver unto you an inheritance among them that are sanctified and so the bible says the word of god sustains the ability to build a believer build in knowledge build in understanding and then to deliver unto you an inheritance hallelujah this will be part two the mysteries of the kingdom Jeremiah 6 verse 16 we are considering divine patterns and the mysteries that control supernatural dimensions of excellence and results in the kingdom thus saith the Lord stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls hallelujah last week we began to discuss how that the kingdom operates on divine patterns a prescribed methodology a pattern and that every time the glory of god is revealed over a life over an individual please listen carefully it is because spiritual patterns have been kept hallelujah second to your encounter with god directly you must press to know the patterns of the kingdom there is a pattern for salvation there is a pattern for prosperity there is a pattern for increase there is a pattern for longevity there is a pattern for restoration and so the assignment of the holy spirit in partnership with the word is to enlighten the believer to open us up to these divine patterns and i told us last week that the bible is a compendium of divine patterns more than just a literature a piece of literature more than just a book of history and archaeology it is a spiritual compendium of the patterns of the kingdom and the name given to these patterns are mysteries or secrets hallelujah that you're excelling in this kingdom and my excelling in this kingdom does not just depend on the love of God alone but our extent of spiritual enlightenment this is one of the reasons why it is important to come to the house of the Lord because he will teach us his ways the Bible says hallelujah that is why it is a real attack to be distracted when the Word of God is coming because that is when your lifting is coming you see the Word of God functions like a tray if you are to serve a guest a drink or a meal you put that meal on a tray is that true sometimes the guests may not see what is on the tray but there is an assurance the presence of the tray tells the visitor or the guest that there is something there the word of god is like a tray you may not know what is there but once you see it begin to rejoice because whatever is there is for your good i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord that they are thoughts of peace good and not of evil to bring you an expected end are we together 
I submit to you that the truths you are about to learn will radically transform you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And then I also submit to you that the truths you are about to learn are not opinions. It will be risky and even evil to teach you opinions. Opinions are very subjective. They are dependent on many, many factors. But the immutable counsel of God on bending, on changing, it will work for anybody regardless the circumstances. These laws of the kingdom are backed up by the jealousy of God. His jealousy is upon it to ensure, he says, I will watch over my word like a hen over her cheeks to ensure that there is a performance to it. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 3, before we begin our discourse tonight. There is no man who has the ability to invent these deep mysteries and these spiritual laws. They are revealed. The Bible says, Ephesians chapter 3, please give it to us. Let's start from, say, verse 3. Ephesians chapter 3, that it is by revelation that these mysteries are made known. Paul is speaking now. Do not wonder how I learned these things. Do not wonder how I got into the comprehension of this truth, he said. It is by revelation that he, the Holy Spirit, made known unto me the mystery as I wrote aforetime. There are some things in the realm of the Spirit is beyond education and is beyond learning. You must be introduced to that body of truth by the Spirit of God. Are we together? Yes. This is powerful. Please go to verse 8. Verse 8. Unto me, he said, who I am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. 9. He says, and to make all men see. You must see tonight. Because there is a grace available. This is more than a lecture. It's more than an exegesis of scripture. There is a grace that can make all men see. What is the fellowship of the mystery? Which from the beginning of the world, the Bible says, have been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Ten. To the infant. This is why you'll be learning what you will learn tonight. That unto principalities, arrogant spirits and yokes that said they will never rise. Enchantments of men and the ill speakings. Will anybody ever rise in this family? It says to principalities and powers in heavenly places let it be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God the results that you will command from the truths that you hear tonight will shock you first and then look around you please believe what I'm telling you this is not Sophia this is not earthly knowledge there are all kinds of wisdom it says the wisdom that comes from above is pure Treated by the philosophies of men. Hallelujah. Are you ready? There are nine of these mysteries that the Holy Spirit gave me from Scripture, from common mentors, and by the privilege of my work with God. I don't know how many of them will come up today, maybe just three or four, and then we we'll pray we have to work with time. But I speak between the name of Jesus like the apostles say, I beseech you. By the message of God, do not just listen for information. Oh, I know this. There is a kind of people the Bible says they are ever learning and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. The goal of knowledge is that it will transform your life. And then when you are transformed, your results will show that you are transformed. Why do we need to be transformed? And why do we need to produce results? John 15, verse 8. Caring is our father. I lose again it this is a very interesting scripture so in this kingdom we gain by losing and that every time you attempt to keep you will surely lose whosoever will lose his life he will gain it and so so ever will save it and keep it the first question is what is your life made of your life is made of many things your life is made of your time your life is made of your resources. 
your life is made of your sacrifices and he says that if out of fear you keep those things that constitute your life you will lose it but that in losing it for my sake and for my kingdom you will gain it the price for all of God is all of you the price for unusual dimensions of power more than fasting you've heard me say it more than praying more than night vigils more than prayer conferences the real price for the grace of God is a heart that is completely surrendered it's a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2 20 I have been crucified with Christ nevertheless I live yet not I but Christ that lives in me and the life that I now live in the flesh that is the body I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me hallelujah the last enemy the Bible declares that shall be destroyed is death and the highest fear of men in this realm is death men will do anything to preserve their lives is that true when an armed robber points a gun at you suddenly your money does not become important again you can tell him take the money take everything but please preserve my life that means a man who is dead no longer fears because the highest thing that can happen has happened to him already are we together Matthew chapter 10 Matthew chapter 10 from verse 28 Matthew chapter 10 from verse 28 it says and fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell uh-huh 29 and are two sparrows not sold for a farthing and one of them shall not fall to the ground without your father verse 30 it says but the hairs of your head are numbered i hope i'm on the right scripture find for me that scripture let's go to jeremiah 29 13 and 14 but find for me the scripture that says we have left all to follow you the apostle said but let's look at this one while we look for that and ye shall seek me this is one of the most powerful revelations about this encounter you shall seek me and only find me when you search for me with how many all your heart your entire being must pant for me you will seek for me with your reputation you will seek for me with your intelligence your knowledge and everything that means if you claim to seek god and you do not find him there is something still alive in you the bible says isaiah chapter 6 i believe verse 1 in the year that king uzziah died something must die for you to see in the year that king uzziah died i saw in the year that my pride died i saw in the year that my ego died i saw in the year that my agenda died i saw please keep that scripture there we'll go back to matthew 19 but please let's go back to isaiah 6. in the year that my ambition died i saw there is a price to see the lord the price is that that king must die whatever is lord of your life is your own Uzziah if you do not sustain the ability to let it die you will not see the Lord hallelujah the motif of a man's heart must be purged must be vetted for you to do business with God in this kingdom again I repeat the price for all of God is all of you not your offering not your money the price for all of God is all of you this is one of the fundamental laws that God taught me that if you are able to die to self die to your ambition to die does not mean to not focus on them to die means to demote them until Jesus becomes enthroned are we together now 
God does not intend to take these things out of your life. What I'm teaching you is what you bring them. Remember, in Genesis chapter 28, Jacob made a very big mistake. He had an encounter with God and yet he had so many things in his heart. He could not benefit from that encounter even though he was at the gate of heaven. But then he suffered for many years in the house of Laban. By the time we get to chapter 32, here's what the Bible says. That Jacob dismissed his wives, go. Jacob dismissed his cattle, go. When he was alone. That's the price. When he was alone. It didn't mean he was irresponsible. They were still his own. But he said, go, go away. When he was alone, then a man came. And he fought him and he began to wrestle with him. And he said, bless me. And he said, you are breaking the law. I want to bless you, but you are completing yourself. The only way to bless you is I must empty you. And he touched the whole of his thigh so that he becomes incomplete without God. The moment you are complete without God, you do not need him again. He becomes the completer of your destiny. He touched his thigh. Your stability now depends on his assistance. You never can be stable without him again. And he called it a blessing. That is how I bless people. I bless people by destabilizing them without me. I bless people by creating a system around their life where I become the completer of their lives. Hmm. And then the Bible says, he said, what is your name? Jacob, a cheat, a supplanter. He says, thou shalt no longer be called Jacob but Israel for as a prince you have power with God and with men and you have prevailed and the Bible says he blessed him and the sun arose and he called that place Peniel the face of God I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved the law of complete surrender Ask anyone who is mightily used by God today. They will tell you they did not start their journey looking for ministry. Please listen carefully. They didn't start their journey looking for fame or for power. It was a blind pursuit for spiritual things. God, it is either all of you or nothing else. That's how they encountered power. That's how they encountered grace. It was said of Apostle Babalola, he was strolling in the wilderness. And suddenly fire from heaven responding to his hunger it was not his plan to be some great apostle but there are many people from the beginning of the work you already have p and protocol and you are planning how your fame will go around sorry this is not how god does business with men don't just pray for a man's anointing pray for his hunger pray for his sacrifice pray for the administration of death that happened Power does not just come. God is not a herbalist. You don't just speak and things happen just because you are a Christian. There is a track record. There is blood dripping upon the altar. Listen. You want to lift your voice and things begin to happen? It's more than an impartation. No. The grave. Where death ends is also where resurrection starts. If you want to resurrect, you will still have to enter the grave. You can't be resurrected when you are outside the grave. The condition for resurrection is you must be inside the grave. Now, I'm not a medical doctor. And forgive me if I say something that is wrong. I'm asking for forgiveness now in advance. But I hear that there are certain drugs. If you don't have that sickness and you take them, they have a way of, it's like they almost make you have that sickness before they treat it. So if you say, Lord, I want to be alive in you and you are alive, the first assignment of the grace that comes upon you is to kill you. By the time you die to yourself, kill you does not mean finish your life. Kill you means dethrone everything until you are left alone. This is what men fear because we want something we can find security in. I, I want to do ministry but let my certificate be there in case it fails. I want to love God but let something be there. I know that God wants to lift me but uncle be there in case I need you. And God says you are not ready for me. The law of complete surrender. We have a generation whose faith is auxiliary faith. 
it's not pure faith it's not total dependence on God surrender there is nothing in my life today nothing in my life today that I cannot give to God oh if I'm lying may he forgive me but there is nothing in my life koinonia will close down if God says this is the last service it will close down never to open again forever reputation nonsense no never leave where fame met you never leave where lifting met you if it met you on your knees remain there even when you rise don't let men clap you into your doom and destruction David was dancing before the Lord undignified and his foolish wife Saul's daughter said why are you falling your hand paraphrasing why are, do you not know you are now royalty you are still behaving as if you are a shepherd and he said I'm dancing before the God who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me so that he will not take it from me and give another listen to me when you die to yourself all of these mundane things I am apostle you just called me Joshua very very long time hallelujah how am I supposed to behave fly I was nowhere when he found me oh I was nowhere when he found me oh thank God for your presence but I will remain where you met me I will remain where you had my teachings I will remain where you saw the miracles hold on to the four horns of the earth don't be embarrassed about your death let everybody who comes let them fly from London from US and meet you still at the place of death you may be inside a jeep but still be dead <laughs> You may be inside a five-star hotel, but still be dead. The pressure from your company is about to eat you up because it is still your own. You see, owners take responsibility. Stewards only maintain while owners take responsibility. When you own things in this kingdom, you are responsible for keeping it. Are we blessed? You're a minister of the gospel here. Please listen. If your desire is to be a superstar, to shine, another apostle, <laughs> let me advise you very early. In the name of Jesus and in the name of honesty, return back to the secret place and flog it out this night with destiny. The secret to fame is to forget about it. Focus on his presence focus on his presence don't be ashamed to let men know he took you from nothing it's not weakness it's not it, it, you are not insulting yourself no are we blessed i marvel at the wonder walking power of god literally every day i see the mighty things that god is doing in and through the lives of people i am humbled and broken Sometimes I look at myself and I said, oh dear, oh dear, what God can do with people who die. Death is the price for life. Death is the price for life. This is the first, you want to be great in this kingdom. You want to last, you want to be exalted. I am telling you, go back and flog it with God. Enter a covenant with God and say, no matter how great you lift me, I will lift you while people are lifting me. You must be the highest. It will never be about me. Thank God for the applauds. Thank God for the good speaking. Thank God for all of the great things God is doing around the world. But in the name of Jesus, as an individual and as a ministry, may we never get to a point where we push Jesus out. 
and we are just holding church but Jesus is not there we are doing ministry but he's not there he remains the epicenter the focal point of all that we do let Joshua Selman go if Jesus remains we are still intact let fame go if Jesus remains we are still intact but let everything remain if Jesus goes we are in trouble is someone learning now yes i show you why you are not seeing spiritual power why certain levels of grace i know you are fasting for 10 days you are fasting for 50 days but already competitive jealousy is the motivation for the fast you are still alive you will not find power that way you want to just speak may your life change and people's lives change it doesn't happen like that god is not a herbalist he's not a magician there are mysteries in this kingdom this is why men wonder when god continues to lift us and then they wonder is it that you don't like fame you are doing as if you are not enjoying this thing my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised that you be praised my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised listen let me tell you you have not seen prosperity till you die you have not seen lifting till you die when you really die you will lay up gold as dust you will not know what to do with it all this clamor people are looking for believe me see i tell you this i don't mean to insult your pedigree there are very successful and great people here but i submit to you in the name of jesus and in the name of honesty i have tasted of honor i have tasted of lifting i have stood before kings the person talking to you is not an ignorant person i count it but dung for the excellency of his presence when you die to yourself god will take somebody's prayer request and give you as a gift what people are chasing after now forever be chasing after you I'll be chasing after you And now forever be chasing after you I'll be chasing after you One more time I'll forever be chasing after you I'll be chasing after you. You see, I've had the privilege and honor of meeting extremely successful people. Some of them seated here respectfully. And you know the character of exceptional people by the level of humility in their lives. You will almost always confuse them. It is those who don't have anything that make a lot of noise and misbehave. You will see someone who owns estates, owns all kinds of things. And yet, a humility almost to a fault. I remember many, many years ago in this city, very interesting story. A dear man I respect so much, he took me somewhere to go and bab. That was the first time in my life I was going to be paying that kind of money or it to be paid on my behalf for barbing. I wanted to say, what is it about the barbing? I mean, give me the clipper. I can barb. How many? What is on my head? For that kind of amount. I won't tell you how much. Ah, boys, an amount you must fear God to forget about it. <laughs> for a haircut? very wonderful executive place and i saw a woman who was moving around trying to find out she would see pieces of paper 
papers and pick it on the ground and do a lot of things. I was almost saying, what a diligent staff. And someone tapped me and said, don't say that. That's the owner of the place. I said, uh-huh. That's how you know. You can see someone who owns a mega restaurant, chains of restaurants all across the continent. Oh, you don't have this. There's no water. Just a moment. And they will run and bring it because they are focused on impact, not a name. You have a choice. Focus on your reputation or focus on genuine results. Genuine kingdom results. Please lay your hand on your head and pray and cry in one minute. Father, take away everything that makes me alive in the flesh. Let there be that spiritual circumcision. In the name of Jesus, you watching online, make sure you are following. Pray. I want to engage this law in my life. Absolute surrender. Prune my motive. Prune my motivation. Prune my motive. Prune my motivation. All I desire is Jesus revealed. All I desire is Jesus glorified. In my promotion, Jesus revealed. Jesus glorified. In my being anointed, Jesus revealed. Jesus glorified. In my being famous, Jesus revealed. Jesus glorified. Enter a covenant with God. Lord, as you lift me, you are lifted in my life. As you raise me, you are raised in my life. As you promote me, you are promoted in my life. I have no agenda to make a name for myself. My pursuit is not for self-aggrandizement. It is for your kingdom. Hallelujah. I submit to you in the name of Jesus sincerely. This is my one agenda. At the back of everything that I do, at the back of everything that I seek, is you that I see. Is you that I see. At the center of it all, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. That must become your desire. Why are you looking for that job? Why are you seeking to be a billionaire? There's nothing wrong with those things in themselves. God is not interested in those things. He wants to know what is the motive. Even those who practice occultism, these native doctors and these sorcerers who ask them, you want money? I can give you money. But the condition is that there has to be an allegiance. That's what they want. Satan came to Jesus, your Jesus, and said, I will give you everything. Just bow to me. That's what I want. I don't want the money. What does Satan do with money? Listen to me. Dear people of God, there are levels of liftings. There are levels of influence. There are levels of honor we are yet to tap into. The way up is to go down. That's how Jesus taught us. The Bible says, he that ascended, he first descended. Are we blessed? This is a principle I've learned. One of the mysteries that the Lord gave to me. One time the Lord spoke to me and he said, Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. And I vowed that for the rest of my life, I will let Jesus be revealed in my life. He's the mystery behind the results that you see in this ministry. He came to Nicodemus by night and says, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God, for no man can do these things. This results, you see, it is not within the power of a man to do it. I know that sometimes we men of God, we like to take the glory and to shine and make it look as if it's our intellect is a lie. This is the Lord's doing. That is why it is marvelous in our sight. Men cannot go that far in their strength.
so for your business forget about the issue of business now forget about the issue of fame forget about the issue of lifting just focus on him and say lord purify my heart sincerely i confess that somewhere along the lines of my pursuit i've been motivated by other things don't feel guilty this is why you are in the house of god i saw that man buy a jeep and something within me said you are not a failure he was your classmate make sure you get it too i saw my contemporary in ministry demonstrating superior dimensions of power and then i went to fast and said lord don't embarrass me dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskate bashkana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto breka teke nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.